starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Stop acting like a sissy and start acting like a fire dog. Why you pay attention? Now you're no longer a pup, like the day Lassie saved you in that burning house. You're a pretty big dog now, and you're the fire chief's dog. That makes you sort of special. So you got to live up to it. <laughs> Washburn. He ought to be sitting up there right beside you the next fire. Yeah, he should be, but he's just plumb scared. Well, couldn't you teach him? You're the fire chief. Well, I've tried, Timmy, but I guess I gotta give up. I got a store to run. Would you let me break him in? Well, I got Lassie here to help. Well, that's mighty nice of you, Timmy. Sure, go ahead. Maybe you two will have better luck than me. I'm sure we will. All right, Timmy. Go right ahead. Come on. Washburn. Well, don't let it get you down. 
How about some nice licorice for the hard-working trainer? Gee, thanks. And a little snack for Lassie. And one for Smokey. Mr. Washburn, hold it. Maybe that'll help get him up there. Can I try it? Why, sure. Can't do any harm. Go ahead. Smokey, see what I got? Come and get it. Atta boy, Smokey. Help yourself. Hooray! Hey, you did it. We both did it, Mr. Washburn. Teamwork, Timmy. Teamwork. Well, that's all for today, Smokey. But I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for the licorice. All right. Bye. Bye. Come on, girl. Smokey, you're doing great. Woo! Stay here and look forward. We have to have a fire alarm. First the bell. Take it easy, Smokey. You have to get used to it. Now I'll whistle. Take it easy, boy. Another whistle. Then the silence. Boy, Smokey. Tell the whistle again. We <laughs> got him up there, Mr. Washburn. But now all we have to do is make him stay put. Yeah. You sure look good up there, Smokey. Calling Calverton Engine. Calling Calverton Engine. Reporting a fire on the Peterson place. I repeat. Lesson over, Timmy. Fire on the Peterson place. Calvert and engine receiving and on its way to the Peterson farm. Hit that siren, Timmy. the fire siren on the way to town. Where's the fire? Over at the Peterson place. Smokey's on the fire engine right by the chief. You two did a good job. You want to come along? Well, sure, Dad.
fun running around there like that. You could have got yourself killed. Now stop that growling. You better come out of here. Ow! What's the matter with you, Smokey? Keep it right on that corner, Jake. Come out of there, you, you bad dog. You fight Timmy. Shame on you, Ed. I better take Timmy to the dock. Yeah, go ahead, Pope. Hi, Mr. Washburn. Well, hi, Timmy. How's the hand? Oh, it's okay, I guess. Hi, Smokey. Got over your scare yet? Yeah, I guess he feels pretty bad about what he did to you. Oh, that's okay. See, Smokey? Good as new. I'm gonna make a fire dog out of you yet, no matter what. Just give me a few days till these bandages are off. You know, Timmy, I appreciate what you've done, but I guess we'll have to give up on ever making Smokey our fire department mascot. You mean you're gonna give up? Afraid we'll have to. He wasn't cut out to be a fire dog, that's for sure. Well, we just started training. I know you did your best, but sometimes I think he'd be better off away from the firehouse and all the noise and excitement that goes with it. Oh, he'll get used to it. He hasn't so far. Smokey, how would you like to move to some quiet home where there's no noise and nothing to upset you? You wouldn't give him away, Mr. Washburn. Well, I, I didn't say that to me, but... You know, dogs are entitled to peace and quiet just the same as people. Well, I wouldn't give away Lassie for anything. Sure you would. If it was best for her. Because we can't be selfish about the things that we love. Yeah. Well, I better go now, Mr. Washburn. All right, Timmy. Hope your hand gets better real quick. Thanks. Bye, Smokey. Come on, Lassie. to prove to him that Smokey isn't as scared as he thinks he is. Do you want to try it once more, Smokey? Think we should take a chance on it, girl? Okay. Will you stick close to Lassie and me? I'll probably get the dickens for this.
That was a bad thing to do, Timmy. Now, you keep your eyes on that dog, you understand? OK, Dad, but I'll take you back to the warming station. Just don't let him get near the fire. All right, Dad. Nothing we can do, Lassie.
tell you, Mr. Washburn, Smokey will make a great fire dog. No, Smokey will never be a fire dog. He saved my life because he's a loving dog. Yeah, hey, Smokey, you got more love in you than fear. But from now on, you mind the store. I'll put out the fire. Here come the capital city boys now. Back to work.